So first we're going to start off by plugging everything into the back of the computer. We're going to start off with our mouse, which we will plug in right here. Then we will move on to the monitor plugs. Here we have our VGA plug, and here we have the touch screen part of the monitor to be plugged in. Sometimes this, the touch screen plug could be USB, but in this case it's a serial cable. We're going to start off plugging this in, and then the other one. Now we want to move on to the keyboard, and the barcode scanner. But the thing about the keyboard and the barcode scanner is that there's only one PS2 port left. So we want to plug the keyboard right into this port that is on the wire of our barcode scanner. So we just want to plug that in right here. And then the rest of the barcode scanner, we're going to plug that in where usually it shows a keyboard. Now we want to plug in a power, of course. And we also want to plug in our printer. Okay, so here's the back of your Epson printer. Here you have the serial port, which will connect to the back of the computer. Here you have the cash drawer port, which will go into the hash drawer. And here you have the power port, which you will use to plug in the power cable. So we'll start off by plugging in the power cable. And then, we'll plug in our serial cable for the back of the computer. And finally, we will plug in our printer cable. Now you want to plug your printer cable into the back of the computer into standard serial port. Now basically, with your cash drawer, you can have a cable sticking out of it or you can have a port like this if you do you just want to take the cable that you connected to the back of your printer and you just want to put that right into the back of your cash drawer 